CNN Film started roughly five years ago. We needed to have content that would still feel organic to the channel, but was hopefully more entertaining for those evening primetime hours after the news. The content ranges from CNN Films, which I do with my colleague Alex Hannibal, to the series, which you see the decades, Race for the White House, many of the things that you see throughout the year. My role in CNN Films is essentially overseeing the day-to-day -day of the brand from development through production. So this means projects that are coming in and being pitched by filmmakers, projects that we're going out to filmmakers with, and then we're also going through the process of making deals. So Stacey Wolf, who works in Atlanta with her team, we're going from the development process to then making a deal for these films. And once we get through that process, it goes into production. And this is sort of a little bit of a quieter period for us because the filmmakers are off making the films, but we're here in a role to support them, problem solve, talk about you know how the story is going in the field, and then once the film is through production and into post-production, Alex and I really jump on these films again and are giving notes um, throughout that process. So we see most of these films from the beginning of a pitch to being completed and then out in the world from film festivals to theatricals to then eventually on CNN for their broadcasts. When we started the brand, it was the focus was really on attracting high-level filmmakers. We really wanted to make a statement out of the gate that these are the types of filmmakers that we work with, these are the level of films that we're working on, and it was very successful. The two typical ways that we get content for CNN Films is through commissions and through acquisitions. A filmmaker can come in and pitch a project to us, something that they've already developed, something that's all packaged, and we're just making a decision if we want to come on board. The other way is that we internally develop ideas, something that's happening you know, in the zeitgeist that we think could make an interesting film. Uh, a lot of times we're developing ideas about biopics, and then we will go out to find filmmakers to um, direct and produce these films. The thing that brings most people to CNN is what CNN is during non-CNN film hours, and that is the news brand. And that is something that other channels cannot offer. They can't offer to bring a filmmaker or a subject on air on one of our studio shows to promote the work that we're doing. And it is a massive asset to us to be able to um, offer that to our filmmakers to really see the sort of scope of what we can do for a film. And we do end up getting a lot of projects because of how the, the rest of the channel supports what we do. I don't think there are many brands that do what we do that can compete with the number of homes that we're in, and that is a huge uh, sort of selling point that we use to attract filmmakers. So fan engagement is a bit more fun when it comes to documentaries because this is not your typical sort of big budget Marvel film, but we have had people take something that we've made and really make it their own and make it fun and creative. The theaters have been packed with people and many of the young women and girls have been coming dressed as RBG, have been dressed with collars, posting these things on the internet and social media and it's just been really exciting for us to watch.